What's up guys? In this video, I want to explain to you a concept called reverse engineering, because if you understand how to use reverse engineering, then you can build a sick portfolio, a sick resume that's going to get you a job. So I'm also experimenting with the camera. This is my iPhone. <coughs> And I think, uh, I think it's called uh, continuity. It's like a new feature, so let me know how it looks in the video. Uh, maybe I'm gonna use this instead of the webcam from my laptop. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, essentially what reverse engineering is, is pretty much you trying to understand how something has been created, and then you would try to uh, break down the process and the components that have been used to create something into smaller pieces and then you would break down those steps into even smaller pieces and then you would start you know putting them together yourself so you can rebuild the thing right so imagine um, someone gives you some sort of milkshake right and based on the milkshake the milkshakes uh, taste you tr identify okay this tastes a bit like banana like strawberries, maybe like uh, walnuts or whatever. And then you add the ingredients together, you put them into the blender and then you drink the drink. Does it taste the same? No, mm, maybe I should add more strawberry. So then you add an extra strawberry. Then you do it again. Does it taste the same? Mm, no, not really. And they add another one. Then you realize, hmm, this is actually uh, less sweet than the original one. So then you add some honey and what, whatever, right? So you do that and you always ask yourself like okay um you're trying to become like a scientist and you ask yourself like what is the difference between what i have versus what i need to create okay so that's kind of the process it's very simple it's not uh, it's not rocket science really um but and it's a skill as well so the more you do it the better you get at it because uh, you'll become experienced at some point and someone is going to ask you, hey, can you build this for me? And right now I'm at a point where if someone is asking me, hey, can you build this app for me or I have this startup idea, I already like built the whole thing in my head, right? I just have to write the code, which is the difficult part really. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it and let's see how you can actually use this process to make money uh, and let's not waste any more of your time. So I love Product Hunt because this shows you what um, other people are, are creating nowadays. So you can take inspiration. And the thing is, if you wanna get a developer job, you have to build something impressive, okay? Cookie cutter apps like color pickers or like calculators and Pomodoro, those are cool to learn, but they are not cool to put in on your portfolio because everyone can do that. and. Those are not really what you'll be doing at your job, right? So if you have a, a portfolio with shitty applications, with Pokemon, search apps or whatever, you're not going to get a job. But if you have a product that mimics the real world, you'll actually get a job. So Product Hunt, it's a place that has a lot of these apps. Some are better than others. Some are absolute shit. Some are, you know, decent. But what we can do is we can find um, one or you can find one. And I just decided to choose this one, Note X, for absolutely no reason, just because it was on the first page, I didn't want to really search, but you should search for something that you like, okay? And what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, website, so we can click visit, then we'll get to this uh, website. And this is the, the, the sales page of this product, and this should make uh, people like sign up and then later maybe buy, right? In my opinion, this is horrible, okay? You shouldn't choose this project uh, because even this project looks a bit, you know, junior-ish. Mm, I was expecting way more, at least from the sales page, like some compelling information about why I should sign up. But again, let's just use this as an example. So what I would do from here is I would log in. Let me just do this. Yeah, so this is actually a horrible sign-up flow. I, I try to paste the code they gave it to me and it didn't work so I have to type in manually every character <sighs> this is my username of choice all right so these are all my notes blah blah blah. and then what you would do really is you would 
become a like like an inspector, right? Imagine Inspector Gadget, like a detective. You would try to find out everything about how this app works. This app is actually horrible. The UI is like, this thing is exaggerated. So I'm not only uh, judging junior developers, I'm judging every UI, you know? If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't look good. But yeah, this button is horrible. Uh, but yeah, I would try to break down every single thing that happens in this app so for example i would create a new node so let's say features create a node okay now let's actually create a note and let's see what happens so create a new node uh, let's say let's say a button should be on the home page and when clicked it should redirect to a new page, right? That's the first thing that I would do. Okay, then let's see what we have here. We have some sort of uh, rich text editor. I think that's how it's called. We have a rich text editor. Um, okay use AI to generate a title, use AI to improve the text. So maybe uh, fix the typos and whatnot, or maybe make it more succinct. I think that's how you say it. I should actually try this feature, you know, so I can understand what I'm, am I supposed to do. We can have a, an undo and redo button undo and redo button. So we need to keep some sort of history. I have no idea how to do this, right? So as you can see, I don't know everything. So I will have to play with it to understand it and try to break it down in my head how that would happen, you know, to actually write the code. So I don't know everything, nobody knows everything, but uh, I have the ability to find stuff, you know? And I ha also have the, not only the ability to find stuff, I have the confidence that given enough time, I can find stuff, you know, so that's why I am not a junior, you know, uh, I just have a lot of time in the game and I understand how these things actually work, you know, we can toggle the team from here, what the hell, okay, this is super weird, let's see, toggle editor team, I would never do that, but whatever, okay, I guess this is it, now, I'm not really happy with this app, right? So what I'm going to do is, hold on. There is this app called the Hemingway Editor, right? And basically what this app does, as you can see, I actually used it. Um, what this app does is it checks how complicated your writing is. So whenever you write a very complicated sentence, it becomes hard to read. And ideally you wanna keep your sentence at the third or fourth or maybe fifth grade level of reading, okay? So if I write something like, this is a really complicated sentence that should not be very long, but long, but in reality it is too long and Sometimes people will lose focus while trying to read my long sentence and maybe leave the website. All right, so as you can see, this uh, Hemingway app uh, tells you to get rid of really and maybes and it, it is, they are telling you that, you know, this sentence is hard to read because it's too long. Okay, so maybe we can incorporate something like this into our editor. Okay, so incorporate the Hemingway app editor features. Okay, so again, I would do this, then maybe I would find another app that I like, and so on and so forth. And then I would, I would literally list out like a bunch of features that I want to build. Some some features might take you one day. Some, in one day you might build three features. 
in one week you might build one other feature right it really depends on the complexity and that's going to teach you uh, how to grade different tasks okay this is part of experience if someone comes to me and says i want to do this well i know a specific thing is going to take one day another one is going to take three days another day another thing might need be might need be might have to be broken down into like three or four smaller tasks and whatnot so i can complete them and this again is going to give you that experience that you need the experience that's going to get you paid so i'll do this and then once i have like a huge list then i would use something like trello uh, if you don't know what trello is let's google it real quick it's like a kanban cards thing you can also use notion uh for this it, it, the app doesn't matter um just keep track of everything so put everything in to do or backlog all these features that you are creating over here and then day in day out you add more you move your features from to do to in progress then to done and then you keep uh, keep track of everything you're doing whenever you have to refactor something you add it in your to-do list and whatnot so you're just trying to be organized and with time you learn how planning is extremely important if you want to be a developer you cannot just build stuff as you go and when you start a project just building stuff as you go it's really helpful because you want to be fast you want to be agile right but um as the progress as the project progresses you want to be more specific and more patient and more careful with everything you are doing okay but you can only find this out by by building stuff right because people only learn from their own experience if your mom tells you don't touch the hot stove and you don't listen to her you touch the hot stove then you remember i shouldn't touch the hot stove yeah and then to make it look good because i don't really like this notex uh product i just picked it just to use an example just so you know what my workflow would be if i would be in your shoes i don't really like how it looks uh, i would go to lexingtonteams.com i'm not affiliated with the guy so i'm not gonna leave a link in the description but i bought this for my own personal website navy and i think you can buy everything for like 200 bucks or something like that but anyway i would go to lexingtonteams.com and click on SaaS, and then you have all these SaaS landing pages and whatnot that you can use to create you know the landing page for your product so your product looks like really legit okay uh me personally i think for this specific project that i showed you over there i think i would choose this uh, spazio bianco i think it means white space or something like that uh, I think it looks pretty good. I would add it there. And again, it doesn't have, you don't have to have users, but the, if you get to a point where you make it look like you have users, you'll absolutely kill it. Okay. So do that. Then once you have this, uh, make a resume, put this app that you've created, you know, buy a domain from GoDaddy. I think this should cost anywhere between $1 and $20, depending on like what name are you choosing. Uh, put it there deploy it and then take that link put it in your resume explain your resume every single thing you've done you can use chat gpt you can pay uh, people to help you out with uh, your resumes and whatnot um, and then apply to jobs that's that's how i would do it if i would be you um it's it's as simple as as, uh, uh, as it gets it takes you two months maybe three months to do this process by yourself um then you're gonna get paid yeah for some people it might take longer for some people it might take less time depending on how skilled you are but it's not rocket science so at least give it a shot i don't want you to be one of these people hold on like this guy dude do you expect a graduate to build a professional website like twitter i graduated this year june and i'm struggling to get an entry level job internship and some job description are like three five years experience junior dev and me with my school project is wild how junior dev are now serious no way switch to another career like this guy and it's not his fault again he just doesn't understand that <laughs> this is like making this stuff that i told you is in everyone's reach okay it's just you have to be creating like a ready to go product it's it, it don't have to create twitter you don't have to create facebook this is what people don't understand it's like hey there is one more step that you have to go from where you are to to get to where you want to get and if you don't want that if you don't want to make that extra effort and it's not even 
like extremely difficult effort. Um, if you do not take that step, then you'll be where you are for the next, I don't know, 30 years. Life is short, like you are going to die soon, right? We have one life. Do the work now so then you can relax later. Why drag this for years and years? Like if you're going to switch to another career, trust me, it's not like in other careers it's easier. You are still going to have competition and there will be people who are there um, looking to go the extra mile to work harder than you or not and then they will leave you behind. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. If you don't want to do the work, that's okay. Just don't complain about it. But this is how you use reverse engineering to get a developer job, to get paid. And if you do this, you'll really stand out. You'll really stand out compared with everyone else because as you can see, this is the mindset now. I'm not going to do it because uh, why are they expecting this from me? Okay. So you have no competition really. It's just a lot of noise at the bottom. Okay. Anyway, I hope this uh, video helped you out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.